In recommendation four, it applies that 13 to 1 ratio, and it talks about how to look at the, the change in residential units from the initial uh, 1992 Mendocino Town Plan to the present time. And in going back and looking at what made up that 1992 number, looking at the 1989 survey, and this is information that was presented two weeks ago, um, it, there was evidence that that number of 306 residential units was actually developed after subtracting out a number of residential units that now would be counted. For example, uh, units that were vacant, um, houses that were under construction at the time, et cetera. So the feeling is that that number needs to be modified by adding back in, and there is in writing which houses were um, deleted, and that will yield, and when this comes back to you, we will have the verified number, but the yield as we have looked at it so far is around 350. So in 1992, using this modified figure, you would end up with uh, residential units of around 350, and that's in comparison to residential units of around 400 in 2008. So that would be the growth in residential units to which the 13 to 1 ratio would be applied. And the plan is to, if you so direct, filling the, in the formula that way, we would then bring it back to you with those exact numbers filled in for your approval. Okay. So recommendation number five. It's recommended that you utilize the figure 46 as the original cap on vacation home rentals and single unit rentals, since that's the figure in the 92 Mendocino Town Plan. There's a certain amount of discussion on this one, and um, believe me, it, it uh, brings back the, the term forensic planning, because uh, trying to rebuild the record from before, we are going through uh, past minutes of the of the Board of Supervisors at the time and the actions that were taken. And the conclu only conclusion we've been able to draw thus far, and you know, we, we are still open to uh, additional information, is that although there was discussion of a mapping error, there was discussion of correcting those errors, and it's true both for the vacation home rentals and possibly also for the inns and bed and breakfast. The fact of the matter is none of those changes were ever adopted or put in a Mendocino Town Plan amendment that was ultimately certified by the Coastal Commission. And we've read the language on what you can correct with and without going to the Coastal Commission. When it talks specifically about caps, the only as we read it, the only grounds for changing the cap that doesn't require going back and amending it is by applying that 13 to 1 ratio. So there are undoubtedly differences of opinion on that one, and that's something that at some point somebody's going to have to make a decision on. What we're relying on is that right now the Mendocino Town Plan that is adopted, that is certified, says 46, and that's where we got the 46 number from. And we cannot trace anywhere that there was a completion of the process of amending the plan and getting it through the Coastal Commission, and um, despite the fact that there were attempts to do so, it was never completed. Okay. Moving on to recommendation number six. The, this would require amending the town plan, but you know, simply asking that the data tables be made an attachment, that way they're not in the body of the report, and it's clear that they can be updated on an ongoing basis without requiring um, completely amending the, the town plan. So um, it, it's simply a formatting issue, but we think it would make the body of the report look better, and it would make it clearer that the tables were subject to periodic updating. 
recommendation number seven. Clarifying that the 1999 recommendations not adopted by board do not cons constitute ongoing policy. Uh, that was w what to look at. And so the, re the recommendation is you adopt a resolution just st stating that. Now again, referring to forensic planning here, um, we're, we're tracing this back. There were reports along the way that the board accepted. At some point they approved some things, but when those went up to the Coastal Commission, they were not accepted. They were not certified. Ultimately, they were sent back. And so far in our research, we can find no place where that loop got closed and the Coastal Commission certified and the town plan was changed. So the official town plan on record is 1992's, uh, and it has not been changed since that time. I would go on to say that from the board standpoint, you could say, okay, well, those recommendations had validity and we'd like to start all over with them. Or you could say, we see a need to revise the town plan. We'd like that to be taken into account as background, but in your revision process and community